Today we're going to talk about an enlarged prostate and urinary changes. And I'm specifically talking about BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy, which is an enlarged prostate, as well as LUTs, lower urinary tract symptoms. And that would be frequent urination, increased urgency, you have to go, have to go but can't, especially if you have a full bladder. You pee more at night than you do during the day. The stream is poor, you have dribbling, and there's an incomplete voiding. Now, if you do a search on these problems, you're going to find that this is associated with uh, DHT. This is a very powerful form of testosterone. And I've done quite a few videos on this as well. But there's an interesting study that came out. I want to talk about it. It's a randomized placebo-controlled study with 114 men over 24 months that were given DHT therapy, which is that powerful testosterone treatment, and none of them had an increase in prostate growth, nor did they have any type of inflammation. Now, that is conflicting information, but so is the fact that as you age, your testosterone goes down. So how can an enlarged prostate be associated with too much estrogen, specifically this one right here? And we know the size of the prostate increases as a man ages. Not to mention they have all sorts of urination problems. In fact, 50% of men, when they reach the age of 60, have an enlarged prostate. And 90% of men, when they reach the age 90, have an enlarged prostate. So why is this and how could it possibly be DHT? It actually can't be DHT as the cause. Now, one of the causes could be excessive amounts of estrogen because as you decrease testosterone, estrogen will go up. But there's something else that I want to talk about that has a huge connection, huge association, and that is the metabolic syndrome. What is the metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is a collection of various symptoms. Central obesity, that means you have fat in your midsection, hypertension, high cholesterol, impaired glucose, which may not show up in blood sugars right away. You just may have a difficult time uh, going from one meal to the next without needing a snack. Low testosterone and low-grade inflammation, which would be stiffness, arthritis, knees, shoulders, back. Now, what's really behind the metabolic syndrome is this right here, hyper insulinemia. That is too much insulin in your blood. And insulin is anabolic. Now, testosterone is also anabolic, which means it makes things grow. But insulin also makes things grow, as in the prostate. And there are several studies, which I'll put down below, that show a significant high fasting insulin level with BPH and LUTs. The reason why you have an enlarged prostate and all the urination problems is actually not this. It is just too much insulin. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're not aware of the solution, then I put some links down below of the exact videos that you need to watch because it is actually very easy to start seeing changes in your urination and even potentially your prostate. What you need to do is get on a healthy keto plan and start intermittent fasting that is what's going to address the underlying root problem right here. And if you're a little hesitant or skeptical about this, try it for three days and notice what happens to your urination, especially at night. You'll see some really great changes. So if you're new to my channel, I put the first video right here. Check it out.